Hello, graphic design. I uh, just wanted to talk to you real quick about this black square problem uh, that you're going to be visually solving here in Google Draw. As you read in the paper, you can only use four black squares to describe the five words. There's order, increase, bold, congestion, tension, and playful. Um, you're going to be having three solutions to each word. So in this video, I just wanted to talk to you real quick about what each word means and how you might solve this problem. The first thing that's going to help you is to go back through the reading from the last assignment on the uh, five or six design principles that I had you read about. Alignment, repetition, contrast, hierarchy, balance, symmetry, and balance and tension. If you think about what each of those means, you should have already written your definitions for each one and why it's important to learn these. So if you think about what each one of these means and assign it to each one of the five words, that will help you as well. For example, alignment. If you're going to uh, solve the word order with the four black squares, think about what alignment means, how everything goes in line, nice and even, in one direction or another that would describe the word order. Okay, there'll be another video giving you a tutorial on how to start building this in Google Draw. For right now, I just want you to focus on what these words mean so you can solve these problems on your own. So the first thing I want to talk about was order, since I was just talking about that. I'm going to want you to look up here at the uh, top square here with those four squares. Um, I'm going to zoom in here, and again, that's Control Alt and the plus. So I'm zoomed in, and then we just drag down. I think it's a little. So I have these four squares here. Another way you can zoom in is up here at the top and then you can zoom out as well. So I have them arranged in a nice orderly fashion that would describe order. Another way you can do it, and you're allowed to put uh, white strokes around your squares too to add some interest or define where the squares are if you so choose. Another way to describe order, as you can see, I made them get bigger to smaller in a relatively even fashion and arranging them so that they're in a nice straight aligned diagonal. And as you can see, the little red lines and uh, crosshairs that pops up lets you know that your squares are in a line. So this is another way to talk about order. So here I've arranged the square so that they're overlapping a little bit. Um, it's showing an uh, order as well as another word in here, which is increase. So there's a couple ways you can solve that problem by making them getting bigger to smaller. Overlapping them like that gives a feeling of increase um, as they get from smaller to bigger. So going back to the five design principles that you read about and wrote the definitions for, hierarchy is a good one to study when you're thinking about increase uh, because you're placing importance on something to least important. So obviously that talks about increase. So you're given hierarchy or more importance to a certain shape. And how you do that too, you can go back to this one let's say this is your first solution to the word increase. You can just simply grab that square, go to arrange, order, bring to front, and because you've put that on top of all the others, you've given it more importance. So there you're talking about hierarchy. And so because you're talking about hierarchy, you're talking about increase. Um, don't worry about me going through real fast on how to use this Google Draw. There'll be a whole nother tutorial on how to do this. I more want you to focus on the concepts here that I'm talking about. Now, when you're <clears throat> doing the word bold, 
going back to contrast and the design principles is going to help you when you're using your black squares because contrast is more in your face it gets your attention more it speaks more to the word bold as well as um, balance and tension as well so this could be a possible solution to the word bold uh, we've got a lot of contrast going on here a lot of tension between the really small squares that are just kind of unevenly placed to this really big black large square so here's another solution that would talk about bold because there's a lot of contrast between that little small uh, white rectangle in there and we can even change that to make that a small little white square now I know you said you can only use five black squares well there are only five black squares in here I just arranged them in a certain way so that it looks like it's just one little white square and I did that by using my four black squares and arranging them in a way so that they overlapped each other and I turned off the white stroke so it's just the black squares and I'll show you how to do that in a tutorial later on how to use um, Google Draw for this. So it's really all about being clever and arranging these in a way that solves your visual problem. So as you can see I'm putting these together so that I just have one little white black square. Little, I'm sorry, little white square. <laughs> And from here, this is a really good segue into the word congested. Think about how that feels. You'd feel cramped, panicky, uh, a lot of confusion. So that would be really good to go back to the five principles we talked about and talk about balance and tension. You want to create a tension point in here so that it feels congested or crowded. So this same one that I used to talk about bold can also be used for congested, although you cannot repeat the same solution. It's just something you could use for either one. Um, it's transferable between both words or even other words. Um, and it feels congested because it's all this black around here. One way you can make it feel even more congested is by putting a white stroke back on those squares so that you have more of a feeling of uh, you can see the definition of the squares more so it feels more crowded like there's more going on so when you're talking about congested you want to create a tension point just like back here with these definitions and i created that tension point right there in the center where all those squares are coming together it makes it feel cramped and crowded which would be the word congestion so when you're talking about playful, that's going to be the most difficult one because you have just five black squares. How can those be playful? So this right here, this lower left one, would be a good example of playful because they are arranged. It's not using really order to this. It's got some chaos to it. So they're more flapping around in the breeze, so it's talking about playful. So uh, using repetition with the shapes, but arranging them in a chaotic way so that it looks like maybe they're floating around playing, dancing around each other. So really this is all about thinking about what the word means. So this would just be another example of playful. I used increase again with this one went back to hierarchy balance tension repetition rotated them around um, have a lot of difference between the shapes just to give it a lot of variation which would give more of a feeling of playful so as you're working on this you're just going to think about the different things that you can do with these squares and that's the size rotating them cropping them, playing around with them, trying out different things, and really connecting to what the word means, going back to the five principles, and uh, comparing those with the words that you're trying to make a visual with these four black squares. Um, so I put some words on here, just size, rotate, arrangement, and then you're also going to be um, 
to use some text again, you go to the Type tool, drag around it, because you're going to have to label these. And feeling of the word. One last thing, I just wanted to show you what happens here if you use the idea of putting a white stroke versus no white stroke. If you go up here to this top right playful one, if you take the stroke off, and again, there'll be a whole tutorial on how to do this all again, but watch what happens to the feeling of that, how that changes it. So gives it more maybe even of a congested feeling versus playful. All right, so when you get ready to start doing this in Google Draw, watching it with the, uh, or um, also watching the tutorial I'll put along with that, just have fun with them. Think about your words and how you might arrange these so that it solves the visual problem that you're trying to uh, solve. See what happens there when I put center on it? That'd be a good one to talk about order or increase.